The SG3125HV-30 is a 1500 volt central inverter. It also has the DC-DC connectivity within, as I mentioned previously. The inverter itself has a small form factor, just 2.2 meters wide, 2.2 meters high, and 1.6 meters deep. As you can see, it can support and perform multiple grid functions, has high efficiency rating due to the advanced three-level technology. So the DC-DC converter are sd 1250 HV DC DC converter is a modular system comprising of the outer housing, which you can see on the bottom left of the screen, and 10 SD125 HV bidirectional boosters, as seen on the top left of the screen. It has again a small form factor, being 2.2 meters wide, 2.2 meters high, and 0.8 meters deep. The boosters are situated in the left and right hand sections of the SD1250HV cabinet. Each unit has an independent DC isolator on the front of each booster. The center cabinet allows for easy access to the DC connectors from the batteries and the connector from the inverter itself as well, making installation and configuration simple and easy. Here we have the first of our scenarios. This would be considered a standard working mode. So this is PV export and battery charging. We can see here that we have full irradiance onto the array and it's producing five megawatts of yield. The PV inverter is in charge of the MPPT control and the priority is export. So you can see here that it's taking 3.125 megawatts out into the grid. The PV inverter is judging whether there is any extra energy that can be diverted from the PV plant. And as you can see here, the state of charge of the battery is low, so the additional energy is diverted. So as you can see, 1.25 megawatts going into the battery. Scenario two, we have the PV plant with no PV export, battery charging from the grid. And as you can see from the graphic, it's nighttime. So the PV plant switches are disconnected. Again, this scenario is considered to be a standard working mode. In this situation, the state of charge of the battery is low, power drawn from the grid to recharge the batteries. The battery can charge and discharge throughout the night. Scenario three sees the first of the non-standard working modes. So the irradiance in this case is low at 400 watts per meter square, two megawatts being produced, state of charge of the battery is low and requires charging. The system prioritizes the recharge of the battery over the export energy to the grid. In this case, we have 1.25 megawatts going into the battery and just 0.75 megawatts going to export to the grid. Another non-standard scenario, during the day, Grid zero export. Again, so these are the periods where we get the curtailment. And finally, this is a combination of PV export and battery export. Uh, again, considered a non-standard working mode, um, but this scenario is all about maximizing that grid connection. So to summarize, the SG3125HV-MV-30 and the SD1250HV DC coupled solution is able to bring in enhanced grid support functionality to ease expensive infrastructure upgrades, smooth the flow of energy into the grid by providing ramp rate control, store energy during times of curtailment for use at a later stage, bring savings to the build and its operation by reducing the balance of plant, Global reduction on plant costs is making DC-DC solutions more viable. So that's it from me. Thank you once again for your time. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Should you require more information, I'll be more than happy to provide.